What's up guys? Anthony coming back at you with another video. Holy shit, has it been a long time since my last video. It's been about three weeks. That's been like this fucking thing that I'm on right now. Sorry, I'm like really hyper right now. Um, feels good to make a video because I've had a really terrible last week. Um, so it feels really good to be able to make a YouTube video. I've been super busy. Like this video that I'm doing right now is extremely overdue. I was supposed to make this like easily a month ago. Um, I got actually yeah over a month over a month ago i was supposed to make this video uh this is the night i'm gonna do a couple videos in one but the main purpose of the video is i got the youtube polo night project 1990s calling i got a list of uh things i remember for the 90 from the 90s and i will be adding to this list as i go through the video because right as i sat down i remembered something i was like oh shit how'd i forget that so anyways i've been really busy guys sorry i meant to make this video a while ago but uh just been really busy at finals uh starting next week i've been studying for finals a lot of final projects that are, i've had had to hand in uh, i got food poisoning i had to deal with that for uh five days so that was not fun that was the the first time in my life that i got food poisoning and i have to say it sucks i've never gotten food poisoning before so um that wasn't fun and uh, i haven't had really cards coming in i've got had no, next to nothing um coming for cards wise um I'll show, I got, i've gotten other packages in like i've gotten these things in for my uh i've gotten these things in for, as packages these are um us to uk uh plug converters because as you can see their plugs are different it's a lot different than our plug <laughs> so uh, basically i have to use those over in the uk um pretty much everything's booked now i got my tickets by the way guys if you get nbc sport you gotta look out for me on tv because i will be sitting i think 10 rows up behind uh the north the northern stand which is behind the goal which they show quite often as long as shots are being taken you see that stand so i'll be sitting over there most likely i'll be doing something stupid to get the camera uh, attention to me so you guys can see me on tv so if you got nbc sport arsenal versus cardiff city january 1st got nothing to do better on new year's day what, what's sort of doing on new year's day you have the day off you gotta come see you gotta watch me on tv over in the uk so i'll be doing that um i got some stuff in the mail uh coming in i got some big pickups i finally requested shipment from check out my cards uh, i got a bunch of stuff from check out my cards i'm going i'm planning on it i'm 99 sure i'm gonna be parting with my uh my 2011 plates and patches set um two reasons why one julio jones redemption don't think it's gonna ever get signed so i'm just gonna say f fuck that number two i'm starting collecting basketball i said this about a year ago that i was gonna start doing it. now i'm really starting to do it because i picked the player that i'm gonna do main pc of who i'm gonna announce in my next video when i show uh the cards that i've gotten of him so far so most likely i'm gonna be parting with that stuff i think it can, it'll free up about 100 bucks um so i just watched the squirrel jump from tree to tree <laughs> right now um we got a lot of squirrels in Connecticut. Anyways, so yeah, got to now show that in my next video. So when that stuff comes in from checking my cards, I'm still picking up another card. Christmas packages. Uh, most of everybody has, has gotten their Christmas packages over the year. And I explained that to you guys uh, when you got them. Uh, you know who you are. Um, most of you have seen the videos. I, I hooked people up big over the year. I, I hooked a lot of people up because I knew that I was planning this London trip and I knew come December, my expenses were going to be extremely tight because of the London trip, finalizing all expenses for London, Christmas package, Christmas package, Christmas uh, presents for family members, and then finishing off whoever I didn't get Christmas packages for. So I have another Christmas package uh, finished for another YouTuber that I sent out half of it. He already got it. He already saw it. Yada, yada, yada. And then I got somebody else and so on and so forth. That I, saw. I think I still have to get like two or three more people. Um, anyways, so there's a little update of what's going on with me because I've been super busy. And hopefully sometime this week I will have a mail day video out. Um, I'm going to get everything in. I, oh, another thing. I, I, will, I might as well announce it now. 2013 Tops Chrome. I'm doing the Aaron uh, Dobson Rainbow. I already have the base. The, the base, the refractor, the X-Fractor. And the blue wave so if i if you didn't hear it just now sell them to me um so i'm looking for those and uh that's really it let me get into this 1990s calling video by the way sign the checklist uh let's see if you guys can see that for those of you who haven't seen my signature that's my signature signed it number 11. the number link goes on the 11th person on the checklist um so Things I remember from uh, the 1990s. Um, Home Alone. Ever seen the Home Alone movies? They're actually going to be on 
I think tomorrow night they're gonna start playing. Obviously it's Christmas time and they're sort of Christmas movies, but they always are awesome all year round. Are always awesome year round. Uh, America's funniest home videos. This was like the for those of you who don't know what it is, for all you younger guys, you should know what it is. It's still on TV. This is like the first YouTube. This was before YouTube because people would just send in their videos and it's like the funniest videos wins. And the majority of them are people hurting themselves. And that just goes to show how awesome America is. We think people getting hurt is funny. So that's where that's probably where YouTube started. But it was basically the same thing as YouTube. You sent in your videos and you're on TV. Full House, another good show. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where Will Smith started out. Um, Wayne's World, can't go that was a great movie. Jurassic Park, that was a childhood favorite of mine. Uh, the Mask with Jim Carrey. I love Jim Carrey movies. Um, Ace Ventura, uh, Liar Liar, great movies. Liar Liar is probably one of the funniest movies to date. Um, Jumanji, as a kid you gotta watch Jumanji. Flubber, I'm adding it to it in my head. The Nutty Professor, uh, Men in Black, the original Men in Black, uh, Dr. Doolittle, Waterboy, Big Daddy. And my favorite movie of all time is from the 1990s. Happy Gilmore is my favorite movie. I play golf and I follow hockey. But from the first time I saw this movie, I thought it was the funniest ever. The, the fight scene where he gets in the fight with uh, um, he gets into the fight with uh, Bob Barker. Uh, <laughs> that was a great scene. I remember the first time I watched that, and I can watch that a hundred times over, and I always think it's funny. Adam Sandler isn't as funny as he used to be. Everyone says Adam Sandler isn't funny. Yeah, in his recent movies, they're kind of stupid. I personally haven't liked many of his recent movies but if you look watch his saturday night live skits and you watch his old movies from the 90s like big daddy ha billy madison happy gilmore that's where it's at water boy go watch those movies that's funny billy madison uh <laughs> funny movies um s other stuff from the 90s furby i hated furby so much I remember one of my best friend's little sister had a Furby. And every single time I went over to his house, I could not sleep. Because that little fucking thing would like make noises in the middle of the night. It was annoying. It was like a fucking baby. It was annoying. <laughs> it does not shut up. It always took the batteries out of it. Game Boy. Game Boy was the shit. I, re I still have my Game Boy Color. I remember to this day. That's how good my memory is. One of, my, one of the games that I had as a kid, I actually have it over there. I still have the game. Kirby Tilt and Tumble. You turn the Game Boy like this, and the the um, Kirby would go that direction. So they had a commercial for that game when the game came out, where a guy was sitting in the back seat of a taxi cab and he was playing his Game Boy, and he would tilt the screen one way, and the taxi would turn that direction. He tilt the screen the other, the taxi would turn that direction. So I, th I thought it was a really cool game because it was really interactive. Uh, so Game Boy. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, Hit Clips. Hit Clips was the stupidest thing ever. I'm serious. You pay like $4 for this little thing that you put in this other thing that costs like $20 and you got like 20 seconds of a song. <laughs> like we look at it now, we got iTunes for 99 cents for the full song. And I think there are probably cheaper ways of getting it. Uh, Video Now. Video Now was like a personal DVD player. You put the little thing in, you had the small disc. And you watched full episodes of uh, like they had like SpongeBob and all the that good stuff. I, I remember Video Now, the first one came out in the nineties. Uh, Nintendo sixty four. Everyone had to Nintendo sixty four. My favorite games from Nintendo sixty four were Golden uh Double Seven Golden. I mean, my dad played that so much to the point where my mom hated us. My dad, me and my dad played Golden Eye so much. Um, then we got uh, Super Smash Brothers. Gotta love Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. Those are my three favorite games. Um, skip it. Gotta mention skip it. My sister had one. I I always took it. It was fun as hell. <laughs> creepy crawlers. Oh my god. Do I have a story about creepy crawlers? When I was a little kid, my mom was upstairs ironing. I decided to make creepy crawlers, and I couldn't find the little egg timer, so I used the microwave as the timer. So I turned it on for twenty minutes to let the cook creepy crawlers book. Not realizing that my dad had this like microwavable uh, coffee travel coffee mug, and the lid was rubber, and I didn't realize it was the microwave, and it caught on fire and destroyed the microwave. Um, uh, Tamagotchi. That was the other thing. Those were the other like twenty dollar little things that you had to raise the pet, and like if you neglected it, it died. Uh, Slinky. Slinkies, remember Slinkies? Those were fun as hell too. You like put them down the stairs. I remember I used to like, my, when my friends had the Slinkies and he would always throw, he would always, instead of like rolling out, rolling the stairs, he would throw it at me and I just pulled it apart so it was all stretched out and just one big wire. <laughs> 
And uh, so, oh, Tang. That's what I was gonna, I was gonna add that at the very beginning when I was thinking about this video. Do you remember Tang? Tang was this, it was like, it's almost like Kool-Aid now. I don't think they make Tang anymore. Probably because it was so, how much has so much damn sugar in it. Tang was like, it was artificial orange juice, like an orange drink. You'd mix it in with water. But it was so, I remember to this day that I hated it because it was so bad for you. That's why I liked it. And I don't, I didn't care how bad it tasted. It tasted like shit. It tasted, you could taste the sugar in it. It was awful. And I remember to this day, just be, I would just drink so much of it. Oh my God. Tang. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, other things I remember from the nineties. Oh boy. I think that's about it. I think I got most of it down stuff that I remember myself or stuff that was a part of my night when I was a kid in the nineties. Um, so nineties, I went to my first Patriots game. I went to Patriots versus the dolphins back in 99, back when it was still Schaefer stadium, drew blood. So was the quarterback. That was actually the last Patriots game I was at because number one, they're so expensive now. And the fact that they're hard to get, they're hard to get and they're really freaking expensive. And whenever I can find tickets, I can't go. So hopefully we'll go to another Patriots game soon since it's been 15 years since I was to a Patriots game. Um, and that's probably, I remember from the 90s. Um, it's probably going to be about that Dr. Doolittle, I said. Uh, what was that other one? Dr. Doolittle. Um, that was the one where he could talk to animals, I think, right? I think so. There was another, there was an Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah, The Nutty Professor was the where it was really heavy. Uh, and then he made that concoction where he got skinny. But Dr. Doolittle, he could talk to animals. And I remember um, one scene from Dr. Doolittle, I remember, where Eddie Murphy and his wife are laying in bed. And the parrots, uh, the bird, is sitting at his window going, Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. And I remember when I watched that video, oh my God, I think I was in either like, uh, when it came out, I was in like, I think kindergarten. I had to be in kindergarten when it came out because it came out in like 94, I think, 95, 96, somewhere around there. And I remember I would go into school and my my friend Brian would be sitting next to me and I would, I would just go, look what he's doing and be like, do a little dance, make love, get down to that. Oh my God. My teacher got, to the point where my teacher got pissed. And I got in trouble because I kept doing it. Um, so I remember a lot of things from kindergarten. Kindergarten was a fun time. I remember a couple of things from kindergarten, not too much, but that's definitely one of them that sticks in my head. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, not really quick. It's 11 minutes long, 13 minutes long, excuse me. So, um, updated on me. 1990 is calling, by the way, I know who this is coming to. If I'm going to send you a PM, I want to, um, I'm using this as a way to get in touch with people that I have yet to talk to on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to be sending that person a message. I've been meaning to send the person a message for a while. Um, so I'm going to send him a message and, uh, hopefully he responds and accepts this package. And I'm probably going to send him a little something too, because I have something that hit would be nice in his PC. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed project 1990s. If you haven't gotten in this, hopefully it eventually ends up with you. I think this is an awesome thing. I know it's been with me for like over a month, so I feel really bad. But anyways, this has been a 13 minute video. Thank you for watching. Sorry for like the me going in hiatus for a long period of time. I've just been so busy with school and work and I picked up a lot of hours. My uh, One of my coworkers took a lot of time off and I just picked up all her hours. So I've, I've been working a lot and um, I picked up a side job, which I still haven't gotten paid for. So hopefully that gets paid soon. Anyways, I got some mail to show hopefully by the end of next week. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.